Well, we're going to start a video series on building a set of steps. Uh, in this case, these steps go up onto a uh, above ground pool deck and the base is uh, concrete slab. So just to look at the steps, the uh, this is the rough design of the steps. This drawing's not to scale, it's close, but it's not to scale. Um, you'll notice that uh, the overall height is about 47 and a half inches to the top of the deck, which with inch and a half boards on top of the deck makes the, uh, the rise uh, to this point uh, to the bottom of the deck for the actual stringer is about 46 inches tall. So what we, what we need to do anytime you're doing a set of steps, you need to determine your rise and your run in order to cover this height that we have here and creates a certain distance. So how do you go about that? First you need to determine your material choice. In this case we're using two by six treads, two of them each, which means that the total dimension uh, between uh, over the treads is 11 inches. And then there's also a tow board here, which is three quarter inch material. So basically uh, from this part of the stringer right here uh, to the front of the nose of the step is going to be 11 and three quarter inches. So we're gonna choose to have three quarters of an inch of nose overhang which gives us an 11 inch run. So we have 11 inch runs all along. Now you've got to determine how much height. Well, obviously the height is determined by the overall height of the rise, as well as the number of rises that you have. So you've got to do some quick math to determine what that is. You'll note in this case, before we go there, let me show you this. The design of the actual deck up here, there's a two by 10, a frame that goes around it's associated with some 4x4 four four posts into the ground and so normally you might just terminate this step right across this line and then bring your stringer down and just allow your step to be from here to here but because we don't have a lot of space to secure uh, we wouldn't have a lot of space to secure the stringer to on this 2x10 what we decided is, is that we're actually going to take the stringer on up to this 46 inch level and that way we have a lot of mass that we can screw into that stringer, screw that stringer into. So here's the math. Um, oops, let me get over here, click in the right place. Um, look something like that. How many risers do we require? So if we have a 47 and a half inch overall rise, and that's from the top of the deck to the top of grade right here, we can take and we can divide that number by, uh, in this case, we're gonna use seven and we get just over six and three quarter, that's about a 30 second over six and three quarter inches. You want a maximum of seven and a half. You don't want your step shallow. So basically whatever number here will allow you to achieve less than seven and a half, but uh, not going any further below than you have to, then that's a good number. In this case, uh, six, three quarters and about a 30 second over is an awkward measure. I don't measure that closely anyway. So we're gonna say it's six and three quarter inches. So your rise here is gonna be six and three quarter inches in all these cases, except this case. You'll notice the dimension of six and three quarter from here to here means that you've got inch and a half material here, inch and a half material here. So your step is, the step height is six and three quarter. Your foot is gonna travel up six and three quarter inches. It's very important to remember, the brain wants to repeat step heights. If you change step heights, you fool the brain. It's a good way to trip on a set of steps. So you wanna keep these step heights the same. So to make this step height the same as this one, because we don't have this inch and a half material sitting on top of this grade, we need to adjust the height of this particular rise. So instead of six and three quarter inches from here to here, we're gonna go five and a quarter inches from here to here. And that's gonna give us a step height, adding an inch and a half, it's gonna give us a step height of six and three quarter inches. So if you take six and three quarters times six, and then you take five and a quarter once, you sum all those up and you get 40, six, excuse me, 45 and a, and a quarter, excuse me, 45 and three quarter inches. This is a 46 inch height from the bottom of this board to the ground, but we're only at 45 and three quarters. That's because the sum of those 1 32nd inch errors has taken us to another quarter inch height. So what we need to do is we're gonna actually adjust 
this bottom step, instead of being five and a quarter inches on the stringer from the grade to the bottom of this tread, we're gonna take it up to five and a half inches. That gives us the full 46 inch dimension from the bottom of this tread to grade and 47 and a half inches from the top of the tread or the top of the deck to grade. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna take it six or yeah, six, basically six of these rises will be at six and three quarter. One of these rides will be at five and a half. And then the run, as we stated earlier, is 11 inches. Let's look. Your maximum rise, seven and a half. We're at six and three quarters. We're good. Your minimum, uh, that's your rise. Your minimum run is 10 inches. Run is the distance between here and here. And so we're taking ours to 11 inches, so we're above the minimum run. But this is just to give yourself a natural stepping action. It's not awkward. It's not too steep. It's not too shallow. Uh, your foot has plenty of tread to ride on. So this is what we're going to build. If you look in this negative space that's outlined here, this negative space that you see here, this is basically your tread. In our case, it's accommodated by an eight foot, uh, two by 12, what we're using. We're gonna use three two by 12s because this set of steps is uh, 38, 42 inches wide, I don't recall. And so we're gonna tie those together with a ledger board at the top which will then nail into this two by 10, so two by six ledger board. And we're also gonna put a two by six ledger board here at the bottom or a foot board at the bottom. And this will allow us to put fasteners down into the actual concrete. And that'll keep the steps from trying to walk or be free here on the end. So we'll put a ledger board here and we're gonna put a tow board here on the ground. So as we move on to actually starting construction We'll show you the design layout using a, a square and some stair gauges or rafter gauges that screw onto the square. How this layout's done, how to accommodate these end pieces in both cases. This end piece you'll notice is not a full, a full two treads width. The reason is we've got plenty of deck up here. There's no sense in poking this out further and making this thing poke further out. So we're just gonna have enough to put a two by six and close up this distance smoothly and then we're going to have our tow boards and then we're going to have treads on top of each. We'll also discuss and cover handrails, how handrails are to be designed. We'll be adding a handrail here at the bottom onto the side of the stairs. There's already pre-existing 4x4 posts at the top from a prior handrail. So in part two we'll actually start disassembling the existing, cutting our stringers and then begin assembling um, we're actually going to cut a test stringer out of a 2x12 uh, It's untreated, some scrap lumber that I had. We're going to cut a test stringer out to make sure these boards are quite expensive, particularly in this case it's also treated 2x12x8 foot. So let's get it right the first time and uh, we'll cut a test board for that. So when we get started, we'll get back to you.